and give you tips and tricks and things that I use to uh, be focused, to have motivation, to get past uh, anything that might be um, coming my way, that I came my way, uh, situations where I didn't, uh, I wasn't prepared because I didn't see them coming. I can't see the future. So yeah, it's kind of hard to, you know, um, deal with something you never had to deal with, right? So this is how to motivate yourself throughout the day, as well as keep the momentum going. All right, so let's get started. When uh, finding motivation, you need to know the motivation drivers that drive you. This could be anywhere from food. This could be anywhere from um, uh, pampering treats, right? Like getting your hair done or nails done. This could be anything from, uh, you know, being able to save up some money to go on a special trip. This could be, uh, you know, instead of um, like things, it could be an award with money. Money. Maybe you want to invest more money. Maybe you just want to treat yourself with money. Uh, this could be, uh, you know, going out to dinner with a loved one or a friend. This could be uh, growing your business bigger. This could be, uh, which you should always do that. <laughs> you, this should be like signing up for uh, another class or another conference. But whatever is going to uh, motivate you uh, to really push through. This could be even like yoga. This could be meditation. This could be breath work. Uh, and we'll cover that too. So motivation um, is, a, is a driver, right? We need to have motivation in our day to uh, keep the momentum going, to stay focused on the task that continually gets it, you know, in the way or uh, doesn't get quite finished, right? We need to uh, definitely have motivators to overcome that kind of stuff. But we also need to have motivators when uh, we're stagnant, when we're not growing anymore, where we are um, complacent, where it keeps on a steady pace, but we don't see the reason to want to grow. We get in a comfort zone. Uh, so we also need a motivation for that kind of thing as well. So let's uh, talk about negative um, factors and motivation that helps that. And then we'll talk about positive uh, factors in your life and how to find motivation for those as well. So negative uh, factors uh, in motivation, you would need uh, things like, um, you know, self-development, you would need things uh, like um, a mentorship program or accountability program, things like uh, meditation helps, breath work, uh, yoga, you can even say anything that will move your body working out. These are all motivation to keep the energy going, to uh, keep your mind focused and relaxed, to keep your body focused and relaxed. So this is going to help uh, you sustain uh, your task at hand, whatever comes in, in, in the way, right? Okay, so what is uh, the ones that you can do for when you are positive because you are already successful, you already have seen success, you feel great, uh, you know, your business is steadily growing or, and you know, it has its up and down, but it has like a peak, like, you know, how much money you're going to about make, you know, you know that you have awesome employees, you have awesome packages, awesome clients, but you are looking for a motivator that's going to um, make you push harder. You want to get past this uh, stagnant uh, space and you want to start growing again. You want to go to the next level. So a couple of motivators on this one is graphs. If you start to graph what you do, and as you, you know, you put more momentum into something, if it grows, you want to continually grow that. It's so simple, yes, to say, but when you actually put it into a graph, you can actually see it and it gets you excited. So it's a motivator. Another motive, uh, another way to motivate you when you are stagnant is to actually, uh, again, join a mentorship group 
group, would you have a coach that's going to see where you may not uh, see that uh, you are slacking in, that, you know, your competitors or, um, you know, your, your, your uh peer group is, you know, doing better in that space and they can advise you, hey, you know, I see this, I think you need to start addressing this and this is going to be, you know, your driving point and then try it. You know, you cannot um, find the best results until you try new things. So don't be afraid to try new things. Uh, always, uh, you know, go out of that comfort zone and uh, expand. Because once you start expanding, you're going to see what really fits uh, your motivation style and ultimately grow you past that comfort zone. So I hope that helps, guys. Make sure you like this video and I'll talk to you soon. My name is Amina K. Thornton.